What's up vendors? Cosmic Vending here and today we have the first bulk collection video of 2023 and this might be one of the first vending videos of the year across all of YouTube, I'm not sure. But today we're going to be collecting from my bulk vending route and we're going to hit up I think 12 machines in total today. So we're going to start the year off right and let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into the video. All right, so let's get collecting on this first machine here. This is the car wash location, one of three that I have. And as you guys know, the car wash locations always perform best for me. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I have the last two car wash locations. They're always the best, so I save those for last. This machine we collected 1925, and keep in mind this is a two month collection. And things really slow down this time of year. It's cold out, kids are back in school. We also have the holidays so the bulk collections usually slow down and that's why I've decided to push back to two months so keep that in mind when we're doing our collections today the next stop of the day is an electronic repair store and we pulled out seven dollars for the two months so this is a perfect example of why we're collecting every two months not a whole lot of money in this machine and if I would have collected last month you're looking at probably three dollars so there's really no need to come out every month right now. The next stop we're at a tire repair shop. Now this is not the normal location for this machine. This is actually back in the break room. They removed it from the sales floor. And I talked to one of the managers. He eventually let me put it back out on the floor. He wasn't really sure why it was back there, but he said it was probably a district manager or corporate said that they couldn't have it on the sales floor. So they put it in the break room. And as you can see, not a whole lot of money here, $1.25. So we got it back on the sales floor, but having it in the break room for those two months really hurt sales. And honestly, it's probably just a matter of time before I lose that location. Corporate's probably going to pull the plug on it, and I already lost one of those locations. I had two of those tire repair shops, so we'll see how it goes. We'll take it month by month. Next up, we're at a collision repair shop, and this used to be one of my best locations. One of the employees here used to eat the gumballs like crazy. Unfortunately, he's not employed here anymore and the sales have really dropped. I was easily doing $15 to $20 a month before and on this collection here we did $8.60. So definitely nowhere near what we were doing before. Now again, this is slow season and all my machines have slowed down quite a bit. In fact, the total at the end you'll see is still pretty solid but not the best collection that we've ever had on the channel. And even though machines are down, it's important to know that things are going to pick up. Just give it a few more months and we got to get through this slow season, but everything will start to turn around during the springtime. Next up, we're at a tractor part store, and this is usually a slower location, but if you look at these M&Ms here, they do not look very good at all. They actually moved the machine on me. Normally it's up by the checkout, and now it's over by the window, and the sunlight, I believe, is just shining through, and these M&Ms look pretty sad. So unfortunately, I had to throw all those away and I had to take the loss on that. So that really is unfortunate, but we moved the machine back to where it was. I got some new M&Ms in there and hopefully we don't have any more issues going forward. Basically, they just moved my machine because they thought it stuck out of the way. There's actually another vendor there to my left that you can see. So they just wanted to clear up some more room, I guess. But those M&Ms were looking pretty bad and it really hurt sales. We only collected $3.50 today. So, so far it's been a pretty rough collection and I knew it was going to be not the greatest going in, like I said, just because of the time of the year, but when we have things like the machines getting moved, that really affects sales and I wasn't really expecting any of that. Unfortunately, that is part of the business and that's going to happen from time to time. And I try not to show just the positives and the great money collections here on the channel. I try to be transparent and show you the highs and the lows. And I really just try to show you guys what it's really like to own and run a vending business. So if you're looking to start your own vending business, just know that it's not always as easy as placing a machine and collecting money in your sleep. So let's go ahead and collect the money from this machine. On the bright side of things, this was my only machine I think that did more than the previous time that we collected, so that's really good. The gumballs did $16.75 and the skittles did $3.25, so for the two months we did $20 and I was pretty happy with that. 
Next up, we're at a sports bar, and I apologize, the lighting in here is not the greatest. I'll try not to spend too much time on this machine. This is usually probably one of my bottom three locations. There's actually another gumball machine here, so that doesn't help me at all. Uh, for the two months, we did $7.50, and that's about what I would expect from this location in two months. I do want to take just a quick second here to remind you guys to hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and maybe share this video with a friend. If you know somebody who is looking to get into the vending business or has a vending business, share this video with them and maybe it'll make their day. Alright, and now we're at a pizza shop where I have a Skittles machine and this used to be one of my better locations. We were pulling probably $20 a month from here and things have just really slowed down. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I may just need to switch out the Skittles. Skittle sales have been kind of down for me. There actually used to be another vendor here who was running gumballs and for whatever reason he's not here anymore. It's just my machine so I thought things would have picked up but they really haven't. I might actually reach out to them and ask them if I can place a gumball machine of my own here. Maybe that will kind of help boost sales at this location. But like I said, this used to be one of my best locations and sales have taken a really big hit. More than what you would expect for just being slow season. We collected $6 in two months. So we went from doing about $20 a month to averaging $3 a month. Now I do expect things again to pick up during spring and summertime. But maybe we can just add another machine and kind of help pick up sales here. I don't want to completely give up on Skittles just yet. Uh, again, it's slow season so it's not time to panic but uh, maybe we can add another machine and get some more money out of that location and now we're in a men's warehouse and this used to be a pretty decent location for me we have unfortunately had to relocate the machine to the back of the store so that's not been great for sales and we're gonna look at the money here we only did four dollars and fifty cents in two months so again not the greatest collection we've ever had Next up we're in a JCPenney break room and this again is normally a pretty good collection at this machine. Uh, the M&Ms always do really well and the Skittles actually don't do so hot here um, but I do keep them there just to make a little bit of extra money here. And it looks like when I came in here there was a little more M&Ms than I was expecting um, but the Skittles actually sold better than normal. Skittles did $4 and the M&Ms did $10.25. Now usually they do $15 to $20. Uh, just in m and m so uh, for the total we did fourteen dollars and twenty five cents all right so now we're on to the final two car wash locations the best collections as always and first up we have nerds gumballs and I have these at fifty cents now I collect from this machine every month so last month we did twenty six eighty one this month we did twenty two dollars for a grand total of the two months forty eight dollars and eighty one cents so that's a nice collection after a day of pretty slow collections. And now on to the final car wash location. Again, I collect from this machine every month because it is usually one of my faster selling machines. So I like to stay up on it. This time of year, I really could just go every two months, but I don't like to take any chances. I've actually had this machine run out of gumballs a few times. So last month we collected from this machine $23. Today we got $25.75 for a grand total of $48.75. So for all the machines we collected from today, we collected a total of $189.41. So not the greatest collection we've ever had, but when you consider all the issues we had, I think that's pretty fair and a pretty decent number. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more bulk vending videos, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.